beautiful people and welcome back to my channel or welcome to your first time in my corner of the internet. My name is Timpani. For those of you who don't know me, I upload beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. And for today's video, I didn't want to just like sit down and film a tutorial. So I decided to do the random numbers pick my eyeshadow challenge. Um, so essentially I'm just, I have a random number generator that's going to choose my eyeshadows that I use to create some kind of look. Uh, for today's video, I'm going to be using the Tammy and Makeup Revolution Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette. So for those of you who don't know what this looks like, it's just a really nice colorful palette. It looks like so. Um, I chose this palette because I feel like it would be a challenge for me. Um, it's not like the colors I typically work with. Um, I do colorful eyeshadow tutorials here on YouTube, but um, this is definitely, like there's no neutrals in this other than maybe like I guess if you want to consider black a neutral. <laughs> um, I'm going to number these off 1 through 18, 1 being up here and then 18 being this black shade down here. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty interesting. Um, I typically keep my looks pretty monochromatic, so the fact that I'm using a random generator to kind of like create a look today is going to be a challenge in itself. Um, I'm going to pick four eyeshadows because typically that's what I do. I usually do a shade like all over, one in my crease, one in the outer corner, and then usually like a shimmer shade inside so i'm not saying that's how it's going to work out today but typically i use four eyeshadows to create a look so i'm going to choose four numbers so yeah let's go ahead and pick some numbers uh but before we do make sure to subscribe and to give this video a big thumbs up all right guys so like, let's go ahead and pick our numbers um our first number that we have is one then we have eight twelve i should write this down one eight twelve and it gave me eight again, so I'm gonna click this again. And three. So I have one, eight, no, one, three, eight, and twelve. I'm not I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this, guys. I'm I'm not sure at all. I'm gonna show you the colors that I got and then we can go from there. Okay, so I got two shimmers. I got um, this one's called Calypso, and then I have Notting Hill, so I have this like lime green and this like coppery color. I don't know. Um, so that was one, that's three, eight is this yellow down here, and then 12 is this purple. So I'm really not sure what we're going to do here because these are very much out of my wheelhouse. I don't, I ain't got a clue. Let's just, let's just get started because I don't even know what to do. I don't even know, I don't even know what to do. We're just, we're just going to dive on in. Okay, so I'm just priming my lids using a little Morphe concealer and then buffing that out with my little mini buffer. That was my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these colors because sometimes like what something looks like in the pan is not how it looks like actually out of the pan so I'm gonna swatch them and then kind of go from there so again it was one three eight eight and twelve okay so those are the colors that I have to work with and they're kind of pretty and they feel like they kind of go together but not really so I'm not sure like it's very like tropical like very pretty so seeing them swatched here on my hand, I think I have a good idea of like what I'm gonna try to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna take my Morphe 504, this is just a big fluffy brush, and I'm gonna go in to that yellow. So I just use this Morphe M456 just to kind of pack that yellow onto my lid a bit better because the it wasn't like paying off as much as I wanted it to so I just used this brush and now I'm cleaning it off using my color switcher because I'm going to use the same brush and go in with our purple over here and I'm going to blend that into my crease area Five oh four, and go back in with our yellow and just blend that into that purple or pink. I'm not really sure. 
it looks kind of pink, kind of looks kind of purple. We're just gonna blend that. Now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go in to shade three over here. I'm gonna tap that onto my lid. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and throw on some foundation. I'm just going to prime my skin using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And then I'm just going to quickly do my brows while I wait for my primer to dry down a little bit. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder. This is in the shade Cinnamon. And then I just use a Morphe M439 to apply that. And then for concealer, I'm using a Dose of Colors. This is in 22 Dark. And then just blending that out using a NYX beauty sponge. So right now I'm just finishing up my face because I never like to do my base before my eyeshadow because just in case like I mess up or something, um, it's easier just to like take off my eyeshadow than have to like take off everything and then try to like re blend and everything so I'm just finishing up my face right now I did my powder and my concealer now I'm just going to bronze and blush for bronzer I'm using the uh, cover effects in suntan bronze And then for blush, I'm going in with Warm Honey from Cover FX. Alright, so now that our base is done, we can go ahead and finish up these eyes. I'm a little sad because I wanted that purple to really like pop. And it's not really popping anymore, but I'm scared to kind of like go over that. But let's, let's just, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. So I'm just going to go back in to that purple shade that I use. And I'm just going to try to pop it in my crease. Okay, so that's a lot better. A little bit more pop, but I'm just going to blend. And I didn't put anything else on this brush. I'm just blending that purple out so it's not so just like stark. So that is much better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye. So I'm gonna take a little bullet brush and I'm gonna go in to my pinky purple shade and I'm gonna put that on the outside here. And then bring it in about two thirds of the way. And then I'm taking a small fluffy brush, this is an M506, and I'm going to go into my yellow and just try to smoke that out a little bit. And then for our last and final shade for this green one right here, I'm just taking it onto this little brush. This is a Morphe M213, and I'm going to pop that into my inner corner. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of liner. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And 
And now just a couple of coats of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes. I'm going to use the Garter Lashes from Kiss. These are like my favorite like glam lashes. Now I got some lashes on. I'm just going to pop on a quick look just to bring it all together. I'm just going to use the Fenty Gloss Balm. All right, guys, so this is the final look. Um, I actually really like how it turned out. These are definitely not colors that I would have, like, thrown together on my own. But, you know, swatching them on the back of my hand definitely helped because, like, they don't appear like they did in the pan. So I think if I would have just went with what was going on with the pan, I really would have struggled a little bit harder than I did with this. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the final look in a comment down below. Also, let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see me do, whether that's a makeup challenge or a tutorial. Leave me a comment down below letting me know, and I will get that filmed for you. Um, but other than that, just give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe for more future content from me. I upload on Tuesdays and Fridays, and I would love to see you guys in another video. Until then, bye, guys.